Hey, what's going on, people? It's been a while since I made a upfront, face first video, and I just wanted to talk to you guys about uh, what's going on with the uh, NFL, right? I grew up in DC, went to RFK Stadium many times as a kid. You know, we went there to see the skins. We went there even when the USFL uh, had a league there. You know, football has been a big part of my life. I played football ever since I was a little bitty guy, you know, ankle biters, 45 pounds, 55 pounds, 75 pounds, 110. Got lots of friends from uh, uh, Virginia that we played football together with. Fort Hunt closed the year before I got to go play for Fort Hunt, but that would have been a great thing for me. Uh, I love watching football, and um, you know, football has gone through so many different changes, right? And uh, you know, every year that I watch football evolve, it seems like more and more of the soul is gone from it, right? You know, the feeling that I get watching these players, it's not the same as, you know, you know, Joe Washington, Art Monk, Jacoby, Dave Butts, you know, all these guys that were amazing players and they respected the game. And, you know, they didn't make millions of dollars like these new guys do. You know, these Daniel Snyder thinks he could just buy a team and build it. He's failed. He's tried every gimmick player he can. And, and now with this, you know, disrespecting the flag, you know, it's completely unrelated. You know, they're trying to associate, you know, our national anthem with violence against black people and police and brutality through a guy named Kaepernick. And, you know, that to me was just like a publicity stunt for this guy, right? He's trying to bring light to this stuff, but why he used the national anthem as a spotlight? The dude's an NFL player. He could go on any forum and talk, and people will listen to him by the millions. You know what I mean? San Francisco's full of millions of people. You think the ESPN wouldn't cover if he held a special press conference to talk about the problem between uh, police brutality and blacks? Give me a freaking break, man. You don't need to use your uh, star power or sitting your ass on the sidelines or disrespecting the national anthem to uh, make a point that there's a problem with brutality against your race of people, right? Man, there's brutality against everybody, dude. It's not just black people. It's everybody has a problem. You're in the wrong place at the wrong time. You disrespect a cop, you're going to pay the price. I don't care who you are. You can break the law. The cop's not going to get that pissed off. Yeah, he's going to arrest you. But disrespect a cop, and I guarantee you you're going to pay the price. That's the way cops are, man. They power trip, and when you cross the line, you're going to get your ass beat. So you respect them, limit your interactions with them, and move on with your life, man. But don't sit down in the NFL and, and, and disrespect the national anthem. You know, my grandfather, he was a Marine. My father, he was in the Marine Corps. You know, lots of people I know died and have family members that have died in serving our country. And that national anthem, you know what? It represents this country. I've always stood for the national anthem. I've always taken off my hat for the national anthem. I teach my kids to do the same thing. Respect it. Don't talk. Pay attention to what's going on. And respect our flag and the national anthem. You know what? I'm a proud American. I love our country. It's getting shittier and shittier every year because of people's political correctness. Look, don't fuck around with other people's stuff. Don't piss other people off. And don't do things that are going to change other people's lives, right? Live your life and be happy. Long story short is this. I've been collecting Redskins gear for a long time, right? I don't know how I can flip this camera around during recording. But I'll, maybe I'll just have to do it like this. Do you see right here? We got a John Riggins jersey. This isn't the cheap old one. This is ones I've had for a long time and I've always enjoyed wearing these during game time, right? Redskins jersey, all embroidered, right? He's one of my favorite players, John Riggins, even though he was a drunk. He owned a lumberyard in Virginia. He used to like to uh, try and test his uh, workers in wrestling matches and fighting matches and all this kind of stuff. As a matter of fact, he even worked with some Ford dealerships called Riggo's Rangers after they won the Super Bowl. Anyways, 
So here's a John Riggins jersey, right? You want to disrespect the flag? I disrespect the NFL. I'm done with the NFL, right? In the fire pit. John Monk, right? I'm sorry. Art Monk, John Monk. He's a friend of mine in Kansas City. <laughs> well, anyways. So here's Art Monk's jersey, number 81. You know what? This man brought so much pride and happiness to me watching him catch the football and win games back when the Redskins had a good team. It's a place in my heart always for, you know, the Redskins back when they were champions and uh, they had great players, right? The Fun Bunch, Gary Clark, all those guys, you know. Makes me kind of emotional to see that jersey right there in a fire pit, right? Getting ready to get burned up. Another thing that's pretty emotional to me is when I was growing up in D.C. area, people would give their life because they had a starter jacket, right? Well, I've had this starter jacket since I was a kid in Virginia. You know, it's a nice one, too. Nice embroidered sleeves. You know what? I don't know what it's worth, but it's worth a lot to me emotionally, right? I'll tell you what. That's going to go in the fire pit, too. You see? This is what I think of the NFL. Fuck you, NFL. Simple as that. I don't care about the NFL. I don't care anything about it. You don't care about our country? You don't want to show respect and stand for the national anthem? Fuck you. This is what you get right here. You get pissed on with lighter fluid, right? That's what you get. Some of this action right here. Alright. Now let's see here. That's what you get, NFL. You get no respect from me. Ever. You get burned up. And you get forgot about. And you never get another penny spent on you. You don't like the United States? All these rich players that get paid way too much money? I don't care about you either. Go ahead and stand in the locker room and kneel down on the sidelines. Right? I know I'm only one guy. Right? This is my whole childhood memories of the Redskins. Well, I'll tell you what. I've had more memories about being a proud American than I ever did as a football player or as a football fan. So, there you go. Burn, baby, burn, huh? Sit down some more and see what happens. I guarantee you'll start losing ticket sales and all you rich fuckers that sit and drive your Mercedes and live in your big houses and boats and all that stuff. When you start getting your bank account screwed with, maybe you'll think about this country a little differently. <laughs> see you later, guys.